and I gotta be careful about what I say, um, just because I don't, I'm not like, I'm not resentful of anything that has ever happened to me on campus. I mean, there are times where I'm really scared um, that something bad is gonna happen. Like, I don't walk home from parties by myself often, and I don't walk home in the middle of the night, even from Wells to Collins, like, because I'm really afraid, especially like, with my blue hair, um, that somebody's gonna register me as a queer and specifically beat the crap out of me, basically. I mean, for lack of better words, but I'm, I'm afraid of getting beaten up on, on campus. That is a legitimate fear. And I think sometimes I get cocky because I know that a lot of people know me. And I know that a lot of people are my friends and my allies and my supporters, but I'm so trusting. I wish I wasn't trusting because it, it ends up getting me in trouble. Some students have experienced harassment. Um, and we try and deal with that on an emotional level and an educational level if and when we can. And, uh, at least nationwide, I think the stats about trans students being um, physically assaulted and even being murdered is, is off the charts. There uh, was an incident that um, I was coming home from a party uh, and I wanted to come back to Collins. I originally lived in the main building here. Um, and this kid was belligerently blackout drunk, probably on drugs. Um, or he was just belligerently blackout drunk. And I was wearing my vest that has, I have a, like a vest that has patches on it. I was wearing my jean vest and it has like a rainbow flag on the top and I couldn't understand him but he was like fag and I was like what so he said it a couple more times and then after that he called me a faggot and then he I just tried to like come up the steps to go in he followed me towards the door and started like pushing me and shoving me and I was so scared because one I'm inebriated I just want to get home I just want to be safe. This is my home. I should be able to come back to my home. I could have called the police, and I was afraid to. I was afraid to call the police not because I was afraid that I would get in trouble that I was inebriated. I was afraid to call the police because I was afraid of how they would handle it. I was afraid that IUPD or the Bloomington uh, PD would not know how to handle the situation or that the kid wouldn't have been arrested um, or at least spoken to. Um, and I feel like it's because they wouldn't have seen it as such a huge issue. Because I mean, like, he didn't throw a punch. He didn't tackle me down, but he put his hands on me. And once somebody puts their hands on you, that, that is an act of violence in and of itself. There are some project, projects that have been started that haven't been finished that I would like to uh, finish by the end of uh, my career here. Um, and that one of which is creating a comprehensive bathroom manual um, so that we can label where the all the single occupancy restrooms are in every building on campus. Um, and that would be something that could be accessible on an app or, or possibly a physical copy that the GLB2 services would be able to distribute. Th think about the fact that you have to pee and you're scared about which bathroom to go into. You know, you're transitioning from male to female. And do you go into the men's room and use a stall? Or do you go into the women's room and r risk, you know, being, if, if, it just gets really, really frustrating at a point of a great physical need. So to have a bathroom that you don't have to ask questions or be looked at strangely, you know, to have bathrooms that are simply open to anyone um, is a great relief for people.
Coming full circle, this is Collins. I never expected something like that to happen here. And I think that that's one of the hardest things is that Collins is a safe space. It always has been a safe space for me. Um, but when people don't understand what it means to live here, when they don't live here and they don't sign the diversity agreement, when they, when they don't understand what it means to be a part of this diverse and accepting community that is Collins, they disrespect everything that it stands for. And that's, I felt like I was disrespected more than I was harassed. And, and that's why it hurts so much, because this is supposed to be a safe space. And my safe space was infiltrated.